down the road from that camera shot right there, state lawmakers kicked off this year's legislative session today. And Governor Eric Holcomb also outlined some of his priorities for his final year in office. 13 News State House reporter Emily Longnecker joins us to talk about what some of those priorities are. Emily. Well, the governor outlined many measures that he'd like to see accomplished this session. Many of them deal with education and making sure that Hoosiers know what kind of jobs are out there and how they can best qualify for them. But what happens when it's time to stop working? The governor said the state is headed for a silver tsunami in the next 10 years. According to the governor, by 2030, a fifth of Hoosiers will be over the age of 60. And then what in terms of transportation, in terms of their economic stability and security in terms of their health, uh, that has a cost outside of that standard Medicaid vertical uh, to the state of Indiana. And we want to make sure, again, out of concern for a compassionate concern, but also concern for cost, that we're, okay. we're moving uh, down this path with a 10-year outlook. Um, and, and we'll do just that. That's why the governor is proposing studying and planning for that future now. House Democrats say more needs to be done to start helping seniors now. I think uh, another thing that we can do to help um, our seniors is to make sure that we are focusing on the over 65 deduction. Uh, with the high increases, increases in property taxes, there are a lot of seniors, one, um, we need to do a better job making sure that all seniors who qualify for the deduction have the deduction. Again, aging just one of the topics the governor hopes to tackle. Coming up tonight at 5, we'll look at the governor's plan to make sure that third graders know how to read and how he plans to get them there. At the State House, Emily Longnecker, 13 News. There's also a renewed push at the State House to give Indiana teachers a pay raise. A new report just out shows teacher pay here is ticking up, but we're still trailing behind our neighboring states. Take a look right here. This is Indiana pay about $58,000 a year last year. That's up a tick from 57,000 the year before, but our neighbors uh, like Wisconsin, those teachers are getting paid on average 61,000 a year, and it's still well below what teachers in Ohio are getting paid each year. Now, Representative Sheila Klinker of Lafayette wants to make the minimum salary here in Indiana 60,000 a year. We'll follow that bill to see where it goes. Thanks, Dustin, and we're prepping for the governor's final state of the state address tomorrow that starts at 7 p.m. And we're going to bring it to you live right here on Channel 13 as we prepare for a busy year at the state house. We're also going to stream the governor's address for you on the 13 News app and on WTHR.com. So stay with us.